right, so we're on, right? Okay, cool. So yeah. today we're going to be factoring difference of squares. You ready? Yeah! Follow my lead. Yay, Matt! <laughs> Yay, Matt! <laughs> that was fun. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that, that was great. Okay. Yeah. Who can factor this difference of squares? Difference of squares. Who recalls how to factor difference of squares? Anyone? Anyone recall how to factor difference of squares? Not exactly. Okay. So, oh, nice. <laughs> okay, so the way to factor difference of squares is we look for a difference, minus sign, and we look for this being a perfect square, and this being a perfect square. Right. So, good. Is this a perfect square? As in something times something makes it. Yeah. 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 What times what I makes x? x times x. What times what makes 49? Seven. 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 Oh. So th this is a difference of squares. So difference of squares follows this format. Right? Plus minus. Okay. And now the first term is what times what makes x? X. X. X squared, excuse me. What times what makes right X answer. squared? Then seven and seven. Seven and seven. Oh. Yes, question? No, but isn't this like what we did a few? Yeah, yeah. Before we foiled, we got to that. Now we're going factor and get to this. Yes? Is it always plus minus? It could be minus plus. Okay. It could be minus plus. But yeah, the signs are different. Oh. Always signs are different. All right. Wait, is so it now, five? Yeah. So more difference of squares. Identify the following as a difference of squares. <laughs> I think it's funny too. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, is this a difference of squares? Yes. Who can look at it? Look at this. What times what makes 144a squared? 12a. 12a. 12a times 12a. What times what makes 49? So we factor it, and then we set those factors to zero. Right? Hopefully you're comfortable with factoring by now. Here we go. Factor, factor, equal to zero. Difference of squares. Just so you know, if this was a cubed, for example, it would not be a difference of squares anymore. So we wouldn't be able to do what we're doing. So then what do you do? Well, 64 is a cube, yes, but 9 is not, so it wouldn't be. Okay. There is such a thing called difference of cubes. That's good. So, plus minus. Help me out. What goes in the front? 3y. 3y. Three 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 Help me out. What goes in the back? 8. Uh, two. Oh, uh, sorry, 8. 8. eight. 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 Yeah, <laughs> I forgive you. 8. Okay. Wait, I have a question. Yes, question, please. Um, okay. So, it does, <laughs> with, with, with difference of squares, does it always have to be plus and minus? Yes, okay. or minus plus. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, you remember how to solve when you have a factored equation equal to zero? What do you do to each factor? Yeah, what do you do? Make each one zero. Correct. You so, let's make each one equal to zero. Okay. So, yeah, there you go. Good timing. Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> All right, so that's 3y plus 8 equals zero, and 3y minus 8 equals zero. And we solve, right? Here we go. Minus 8, minus 8. 3y equals negative 8. Sometimes you got to improvise. 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 Woo! <laughs> <laughs> improvise. Yeah! You like this? This shows dedication. It. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll wash my hands. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> so, divided by 3, divided by 3, <laughs> y equals negative 8 over 3. Any, any questions about process here? I'm just kind of going through the motions. So, two solutions. Okay, thanks. <laughs> two solutions, here they are. Well, you got it right, so there's a bubble right, right. party. Yeah, bubble party for you. <laughs> okay. Obviously. So, a couple more, right? A couple more. <laughs> it's all good. This is dedication. New hand. You feel like the karate kid? <laughs> Alright, I think that's the last time you have to erase anyway. Oh. Okay. 
All right.